Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Who is ready to make 2024 massive? I am. <laughs> Who is ready to make 2024 the year that everything changes? Everything is gonna change from this point forward. And speaking of change, I'm in my brand new kitchen. I know there's a few of you that were asking about it and I was getting stuck in that perfectionism, like it needs to be perfect because it's still not complete, but we are in the new kitchen. Um, I'll just give a little show around and reveal. If you saw my stories, you will have just seen the before, but this was essentially two rooms. That is now one big, massive room. Still a lot of building stuff in the garden. Hey, hey, Safia. Hey, Natasha. Hey, everyone. Also, if you're watching this on the replay, please let me know um, in the comments. So this was like a big office um, that Dan would use. It's now gonna be our dining space slash my workspace slash Dan's workspace. And um, we are gonna get a table here. We have our tree up. We have our TV on the wall. Um, we have the kitchen over here, which is looking beautiful. We still need to paint the walls, get some tiles on, but it is incredible being in this brand new, amazing space. Those who were with me when we moved into this house will know that the kitchen was like the least favorite bit. Ah, thanks Natasha, I'm so glad you like it. Um, and it's just so good to be in change in like, fresh space, fresh energy, and yeah, we are just absolutely in love with it. And that's actually what I'm on here to talk about, not the kitchen, <laughs> but change, because 2023 has definitely been a year for me where like everything changed, <laughs> everything changed. And I wanna share with you what you can do to go into 2024 and have similar, if not bigger, even more expansive year. I have a whole ton of notes. I'm talking mindset and strategy. The strategy is gonna come at the end. Um, and then I'm gonna to talk to you about Storyteller because the doors have opened for Storyteller. And I'm super excited to get that launched January. So this year, things just went like this and then this for me. Um, and again, for those of you who follow me, uh, who followed me for a while or been on this journey with me, you'll know that like it's just been <laughs> crazy. I went from essentially in the first part of the year, like this close to just like going back to a full-time job and being employed by someone else because I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> like, I don't know if I have the strength to do this anymore. Like, I'm not bringing in the money that I thought I'd be bringing in, especially at this point in my business. I launched my business in 2020. And for anyone that's new around here, 2020. And it was up, down, up, down. I took on essentially what became a full-time role with a coaching school, which was amazing and helped me to build a lot of the relationships I have now. But I fell into that trap of my business just becoming this side hustle. Um, then rewind to about a year ago, just over a year ago, and I left that role and went full time in my business. And I was like, here we go, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna be having 10K months in no time. Now I've got all the time in the world to just like power on and do it. That is not how it played out. <laughs> I wish it was that straightforward. Um, and so I went into this year a bit panicked, like, okay, I savings are low and uh, I need to build this business or I'm gonna to have to go back into full-time work. And I just knew that I didn't wanna go back into, not full-time work, into being employed by someone else, be, being on someone else's schedule. I genuinely feel like I had like PTSD from my last role where I worked in an all-male office environment that was just very, very toxic. And so I went ahead and tried some new things in 2023 that I would love for you to try in 2024. Um, hey Imogen. Um, the first one is go all in. Now I know this is thrown around a lot and it just sounds really kind of like willy nilly, woo woo, naff naff, but like going all in, I wanna separate this from doing everything because that's what I thought going all in meant. I thought going all in meant, okay, I'm going all in. YouTube, Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, what else? Podcast, um, 
weekly lives, a Facebook group. So I confuse going all in with doing everything. And I basically almost burnt out by March by trying to do all the things that I just listed there. Like every platform, trying to be super visible. Um, yeah, I nearly burnt out, it was not good. <laughs> And as well as nearly burning out, I was, my bank account was drying up. Doing everything did not equal success. And I felt like I was working so hard. Again, mindset thing. We, we think that like hard work and grinding equals success. But if that was true, we'd all be millionaires because we're all working hard every day. Um, I actually feel like sometimes it's about doing less. And when I made the decision to okay rethink let's go all in it wasn't a case of okay let's go all in and carry on doing everything it's like let's go all in on doing just a couple of things really really well and having that belief that i can absolutely do it so that is step one for 2024 go all in on this specific thing that you're gonna do rather than go all in on doing everything because you will just burn out Think about what is maybe one or two things that you can do really, really well and really focus on rather than trying to tick every single box off. If you want to start a, pod a podcast in 2024, then absolutely go for it. And maybe, you know, you're going to you know, have that on going across Pinterest or Instagram or both, but that's it. <laughs> Cap it there rather than being like, okay, but I also need to like run a million different things. Obviously, if you can hire help, brilliant. You can be in multiple places at once but don't confuse going all in with doing everything. So that is step one. Step two, this is something I'm genuinely very, very proud of. I'm doing it right now, which is showing up as if I have a huge audience, showing up on lives as if there is a hundred people minimum on every single live call, uh, scheduled live, Instagram live, Facebook group live, every single time. Bear in mind, so for even people who are watching on the replay and don't know, right now there are two people who are watching this live. Oh, there's three because my mom just joined. <laughs> Hi, mom. So there's three people live right now. And sometimes there is no people. Um, Dolly just joined. Hi, Dolly. Okay, so just disclaimer, there's now four people who are on this call live. Um, but sometimes there was zero, zero people. I, have, I can't tell you how many Facebook lives and Instagram lives I've done in the, um, in the past like 12 months where there's been no one on it live with me. And yet I chose to show up like there was a hundred people in the room, a thousand people in the room. This is actually something I'm creating some content around tomorrow and I have an email going out about it. So many people say, oh, I don't have enough followers yet or no one's gonna show up. So what's the point in going live? The point is it's content, it's practice for you. And obviously there's replays so it can still be seen even if it's not live right now. So step two is to start showing up on your social media as if people are depending on you, as if people are super excited to see your content, as if someone who finds your live, even if no one was on it in that live moment, when someone finds it, they go, oh my God, I needed this video. I needed to hear this. Dolly, I'm thinking about you. Think about those women who are going through menopause, who just need that resource. They come across a live video that you did two weeks ago and they think, oh my gosh, where's this woman been? I needed to hear this video. And every time you, sh you, you, you either fail to show up or you show up and you're just not really into it because no one's really on it live, you are, are essentially ruining your credibility, your authority, your content. So show up like there are a hundred people in the room. I'm showing up like there are a hundred people in my kitchen right now, <laughs> which we may be able to fit in because it's huge now. So number one, go all in, not do everything. Number two, show up like there's a hundred people in the room. Number three, it is time to step into delusional big money energy. So step into delusional big money energy. This is definitely something I did this year. And there are certain ways that I did that. Step one, I put myself in the room with people who were earning much more money than me. I put myself into programs uh, with mentors who were having million dollar years. I put myself into memberships um, where the, the mentor and the women around me are having like 50K launches. 
and just being in the energy of this people I cannot tell you what it does to you because if you're surrounding yourself with people who are just like oh you can't be self-employed oh you like you know you, you never your little business is never going to make it then you'll you'll you can't be self-employed and your business won't make it but when you start to surround yourself with people who a five thousand dollar day is normal a fifty thousand dollar launch is normal you start to see that hang on a second this actually could be normal for me as well hey Yolene, i can't wait to see you next month <laughs> So when you put yourself in a room of people who are, if you think that you're here and they're here, you will soon rise up to be around them. So get in the room with people who are having the 10K months, the 10K launches, the 50K launches, the million dollar years, or the 100,000, whatever you think is your, your here, if you think you're here, whatever your here is, go and put yourself in the room with those people, be around those people. I will never forget one of my old students from my coaching school, talked about how sad he was to actually be graduating from the coaching school because he um was having so much fun being with his community and being with all the the other students and the newer students coming in how he loved kind of mentoring them but I remember saying to him and I love this quote I don't know where it comes from but when you're what is it when you're the smartest person in the room do you really still want to be in the room you need to constantly be in rooms where maybe you are you, you feel like you're not the smartest person but that means you can learn from everyone so number three Part one is put yourself in, step into delusional big money energy by putting yourself in the room with people who you perceive to be uh, bigger than you or financially more abundant than you or just high, a little bit further ahead in their, in their like success journey. Uh, 3B to that, the second part to that is, um, what I specifically did is I put myself into some crazy money challenges. Um, the first one, I don't know if you guys remember, I did a 5k in five days challenge with a mentor called Sarah Buckland. Uh, I'm in her membership. I think it's around like £39 a month. It's, it's really cool. And every now and then she does these challenges and she did a challenge in June that was called 5k in five days. And that was the only reason that I joined the membership because I'd had a 5k month. So the idea of doing 5k in five days seemed like, well, if, if it takes me a month to make that, like, how am I going to make that in five days? That's just delusional. But then surely that's the reason that we should do it as well. Why do I want to keep playing this safe? And if I fail, I haven't lost anything. I'm sure I'll learn something along the way. And so I put myself in the room with the other entrepreneurs who are also capable of having a 5k week. Did I have a $5,000 week? just under technically no i had i made four and a half thousand dollars in that one week and that instantly showed me what is possible now that doesn't mean that from there on out every single week was a four and a half k week but i just showed myself what was completely possible i had stepped into that delusional big money energy and it massively paid off so jump forward to november and sarah is um throwing another challenge and this time it's 10k in 10 days bear in mind i'd only just had my first 10k month in september i'd made just short of thirteen thousand dollars cash so again if that was over like a, a period of a month so making ten thousand dollars in 10 days once again was probably a bit delusional maybe i'm not quite there yet but again <laughs> It's not about being there yet. It's not about being ready. It's not about being like, oh, well, mathematically and financially and technically it works out this. It's about saying, I'm going to be delusional and I'm going to do it because what do I have to lose? Seriously, what do I have? Like, what do you have to lose? If you were to go into 2024, even in January and think, you know what? I'm going to try and make $5,000 in the first five days of January or $10,000 in the first 10 days. What do you have to lose? And if that even that feels too big for you, just say, I'm going to try and make $5,000 in that first month. And then I, you've got more time. But just be whatever feels delusional for you. If it feels too, too possible, up it. Either up the money or up the time, up the days. But just go for it. Step into that big delusional money energy and it will happen. If you keep saying to yourself, like, yeah, I can probably make $1,000 this month. You may be going to make five hundred, a thousand dollars. If you would say I could make ten thousand dollars this month, what if you fell short and only made five thousand? It's still five thousand dollars. What if you said I'm going to make twenty thousand dollars? I'm back, <laughs> having a bad connection. Okay, um, 
Anyway, that wraps up step three, step into big delusional money energy. Did I say that right? Into delusional big money energy. Um, so now I'm going to move on to more of a strategy, this strategy that has completely changed 2023 for me compared to where I was, especially compared to where I was this time last year. Um, this time last year, I was focused on making so much content and how to make so much content. And that was also what I was teaching. And I would still love to teach that. I'm about to repurpose back again. <laughs> Um, I'm all about repurposing content. I'm all about creating, you know, a lot of good content. But this year, my content, my strategy in terms of content changed. And I saw great results from that. Therefore, I'm going to move over here slightly because the, I just keep getting connection is bad. So let's move closer to where I think the Wi-Fi will be. <laughs> so, uh, so, sorry, step four. I made messy content and I stopped trying to be so structured. Um, this was huge for me in terms of my content because like I said, this time last year, I was very much focused on, I was getting stressed about like my branding, what colors I was using, what fonts I was using. I would have to plan a piece of content. I'd have like a content plan, um, you usually try and have a content plan, but if I didn't stick to it, I would feel bad. If I didn't stick to it, I would feel shame. If I had a piece of content that didn't do so well, I could feel like kind of like, oh, like I didn't put enough into it. I was spending a lot of time on Canva, creating graphics, creating carousels. And I changed that closer to the Wi-Fi because yeah, this is working. <laughs> Um, I changed that this year. I completely changed that. I really stepped into messy content and not being as planned to the point that I used to send out a monthly content calendar for clients and, um, and members of my old membership. Um, and for some people that really, really worked. But for me, I just ditched it because it just made me feel like I'm not doing enough and I'm failing when I'm not failing. So something that I did this year was get really, really messy with my content. There's still obviously a little bit of structure, especially when it comes to the actual content itself. But I just got messy, got real messy. If you look at my Instagram stories, they are not neat. And this is something that I am specifically teaching in Storyteller, my brand new mastermind. Um, but I'll go more into that in a minute. But step four is basically showing up even if it's being messy. Um, letting go of the need for perfectionism, letting go of the need for everything to be perfect, letting go of everything to be super planned and just being in the moment, going with the flow. This definitely happened with me, especially for going live. Obviously today is a poor example of that. I have planned this live. I've advertised in my stories. I've put a bit of makeup on. I am actually wearing proper clothes because <laughs> I'm heading into the co-working space soon. But I have done so many lives in the past few months where I have not been prepared. I have had no makeup on, uh, hair is a mess. I'm wearing scruffy clothes because that is not relevant to the message that I need to get out to my audience. And that is what I have prioritized. That is exactly what I've prioritized over the past few months, the messaging over the visuals. And so even if that's messy, even if that's showing up messy, I'd rather have messy content that with a really important message than perfect content that doesn't land with anyone and that people are scrolling past because the only reason they might like it is because it's aesthetically pleasing so that is number four um on how to make 2024 change and uh, um, be a year that changes everything for you start showing up and focus on your messaging start showing up messy if you need to again for some people you might have a really good structure a really good content plan a really good system really good content strategy um but for me what's really worked is just showing up messy uh, number five let me see if i can get this here with the connection. So number five, this is the final one. Um, and said it's kind of strategy. So number five is I really, in 2023, I really focused on storytelling in my content. Um, and this is something that I am essentially giving you the opportunity to do with me in 2024. So what do I mean by I focused on storytelling? 
I went from just talking about like, this is my offer and buy from me to really like tapping into my ideal client's problems and desires and symptoms, my own experiences um, and creating these incredible, powerful stories from my own experiences, from my client's experiences. I got, and I, where I shared these the most, and this is definitely something to note down, everyone is so focused on feed content, on reels, on carousels, and, and on lives, and these are all amazing, of course. But the place that has like astronomically changed my sales is my Instagram stories and my emails. Those two things, Instagram stories and emails. Um, I read recently somewhere um, that Instagram, basically people are spending more time in the stories and in the DMs. So if you're putting like 80, 90% of your effort into your feed, you could be missing out on actually connecting with people. And the best way I have found to connect with your audience is to tell stories. And I do this through Instagram stories and I do this through emails. So in my brand new mastermind storyteller, which goes live in a matter of weeks, we are going live in January. It's a six month mastermind with me. Um, this is the entire thing that I'm going to be teaching you and helping you with is building out your, well, first of all, an incredible offer, one that, that your audience actually wants. Okay. Because I'm seeing a lot of you sell, um, and it's, it's fluffy. It's not clear. You're not solving a problem. You're not meeting a desire. You're just going, Hey, I'm a coach and I have some slots available and come and work with me. And you're not, you're not explaining, you're not storytelling about like what, Great session, Hannah. I had to shoot after meeting. See you later. Oh, thanks, mum. <laughs> See you tonight for our Christmas movie night. We're going to have Christmas movie night here tonight, which I'm very excited about. Um, okay, so I'll see you later. Um, so where was I going with that? Um, yes, so I'm going to be teaching you essentially how to, um, first of all, get really clear on what it is that you are helping people with, um, how, how you're going to help them and why you are amazing for your client to work with okay and we're going to help i'm going to help you to build these stories out over the next six months i'm going to show you how to show up on instagram stories so that you can have people buying from you people interested in you people who are just dying to work with you i mean can you imagine 2024 being essentially what has happened for me this year which is the year where people are on the wait list people are reaching out to me saying do you have any spots can i book a call with you like I just need to get on a call with you that is what's been happening to me this year and I'm now just like okay I have to share this with everyone so over the next six months you'll come on this journey with me where it's not just a case of we show up on a call and I teach you we're going to be going into a safe space where you'll also practice pitching you'll practice storytelling and um, you'll practice with the other women in the program we already have some incredible coaches signed up to this i'm super excited to start working with them in january and um as on top of that <laughs> there is like a gazillion bonuses right now so if you join before the 27th of december the price is just 444 dollars per month so you'll be saving over 600 dollars in total because the price is going up and um, but you'll also get um, a one-to-one -one with me in January to kick off the whole of Storyteller and in that it's a real one-on-one -on -one, 60 minute kind of coaching and mentoring session where we'll deep dive into who are you what are you doing what are you talking about online where are you going wrong and how can we fix that and what is the story and stories that we're building out over the next six months um Alongside that, you will also get a Instagram audit from me. So I'll do a deep dive onto your Instagram. I don't want this to just be you join the program and then in six months, you finally start selling. No, 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 no. You're joining the program and whilst you are working with me on everything, you can also be selling your offer. And we'll start that with an Instagram audit so that when people turn up to your Instagram page, it is clear who you are, and what you're selling and how you're gonna help these people and how they can work with you. So I'll do a deep dive into your Instagram and that is free when you sign up to Storyteller.
Uh, and finally, the next one, well not finally, but the next one is you also get included a one-to-one -one session with me in June when you graduate from the program. Um, and that is to really, that is like a one-to-one -one 60 minute strategy session where again, we'll deep dive into making sure that you have everything in place and all the systems so that you've got your lead magnet, so that you've got your offer, so that you've got your email list set up, so that you've got your funnel set up, so that everything is in place, so that there is no reason that when people come to your Instagram page, they cannot start working with you or at least go through a funnel to join your community. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm super, super, super excited for this. Um, so we start in January. Um, as I say, the price is rising next week um, up, and up to $550 per month. So you have the opportunity right now to save over $600 in total when you sign up. And um, the link is in my bio. Go and check it out. There's a few more details and, and everything that is included um, on that checkout page if you want to go and check that out. And let me just go through all of my notes and check that I covered everything. <laughs> da, 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 da. I think that is it. I'm going to wrap it up and leave it there. Please just drop me a message if you have any questions. Um, if you watch this on the replay, I would love for you to comment below. Let me know how this landed with you. What is your key takeaway from this video? And I hope that you all have an amazing, amazing, fantastic day. And I hope that you enjoyed the little mini tour of my brand new kitchen. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.